Located in the northwest of Calhoun County, Michigan, lies a city with a population just over 50,000 people. A lot of you probably have no clue what city I'm talking about, but I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Kellogg's before. They notably produce snacks like Cheez-Its, Pop-Tarts, and cereal too, like Corn Flakes and Fruit Loops. But one thing that they don't produce is a winning hockey team. Kellogg's is headquartered in Battle Creek, Michigan, which in the 2019-2020 season was home to the Battle Creek Rumblebees. The Rumblebees were set to play at the Rink Battle Creek, which happens to be just a stone throw away from Kellogg Arena. They were introduced to the league along with three other expansion teams, the Columbus River Dragons, the Danbury Hattricks, and the Delaware Thunder. Led by head coach Clint Hagmeyer and general manager Adam Steo, the city was looking forward to success in the FPHL with their new expansion team. However, things would not go as planned. Adam Steo, general manager for the team, came into Battle Creek with some experience as former general manager as the Evanville's Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts didn't have the greatest of seasons with Steo in charge. In fact, they boasted just a .214 win percentage that season, as they showed just 12 wins to 38 losses and 6 overtime losses. Every team has a bad season here and there, so it couldn't get much worse for the Rumblebees. Or so we thought. On October 25th, 2019, the first ever game for the Battle Creek Rumblebees would happen at the Rink Battle Creek. The fans and the players were ready. 672 fans came out to watch the Rumblebees play the Danville Dashers, and they watched them lose 7-1. In fact, this was the most fans that would ever come out to watch the Rumblebees play, as this was their season-high attendance. First games are tough, however. You know, you gotta work out a little kinks, and the Rumblebees look to bounce back on the 26th at home. They lost 6-3. But hey, it's their first season. You know, you can't expect them to win every game. But then they lost to the Mentor Icebreakers 7-2. And then they lost 5-0. And then they lost 5-3. In fact, they just kept on losing. And only 8 games into the season, head coach Clint Hagmeyer decided to part ways with the team, leaving Adam Steele, the general manager, as head coach. But Steele would do something that Hagmeyer couldn't do. On January 3rd, 2020, 24 games into the season, and the Rumblebees are still looking for their first win. They showed up to the Elmira Enforcers home ice ready to battle it out. In fact, it was actually guaranteed win night at First Arena. It was a little promotion they were running where, you know, they guaranteed the fans they would win. However, less than a minute into the second period, Maxim Nozkov found himself wide open in front of the net and tucked it for the Rumblebees. This, like most things for the Rumblebees, wouldn't last long, however. With about four minutes left in the second period, Kyle Stevens caught the puck out of midair and like tapped it into the empty net and tied the game. And it was just a weird goal, but nonetheless, Elmira tied the game and they were not going to lose to the Rumblebees. Or so they thought. Six seconds into the third period, and Jake Mortley takes a slap shot just after crossing the blue line and scores his first goal of the game and his first of the season. That would put the Rumblebees up 2-1. to one. And that's how it would end. 2-1 to one in Battle Creek's favor. Amiro would be shocked. Players just sitting on the bench, just shocked and in pure confusion, looking like they just saw something they didn't want to see and I'm sure they didn't. They would play again the day after, and Amiro would not let them win again. And that's what they did. The Enforcers won 6-3. However, the Rumblebees wouldn't beat them again. In fact, they wouldn't beat anyone for the remainder of the season. Before COVID-19 canceled the last nine games of the season, they would boast a record of one win 45 losses and two overtime losses, which would make their win percentage a .021. This was in fact worse than the 1974-1975 Washington Capitals, who had the worst season in NHL history. The Capitals finished with a 1-3-1 win percentage. Yeah, 
this team sucked. The Rumblebees then folded and would never play in the Federal Hockey League ever again. However, Adam Steele would be the face of a new FPHL team, the Motor City Rockers, who will actually play upcoming in the 2020-2023 season at Fraser Hockey Land in Fraser, Michigan. Hopefully they don't do what the Rumblebees did and hopefully they win more than one game. 